Okay, question one. It's about using the distance formula to find the distance between a pair of points. Okay, in this case we have two points, six comma seven and negative three comma negative seven, negative negative here negative. Okay, plugging in, in the formula. Okay, this is six uh -huh. is negative one, so it's negative and the formula is a square root open parenthesis square and subtraction to quantity x2 who is x2 minus 3 minus 3 is x2 and who is x1 is 6 and minus of the formula is minus 6 plus uh, open parenthesis y y is the same y2 who is y2 is negative 7 minus minus of the formula a positive 7 a square okay that's so far we have square root of negative 3 and negative 6 is negative 9 and negative 9 is square uh -huh. is 81 well, it doesn't matter. That's it. Seven and seven is fourteen. Negative fourteen. Negative fourteen is square. Okay. So far we have eighty-one positive plus fourteen squared. If fourteen is squared is one hundred ninety-six. And when you add it together, is one ninety-six eighty-one. A seven, a seventeen. Carry that one is two hundred, two hundred seventy-seven. And leave it like that. This is the answer that corresponds with the option B. Okay, number two. Number two is saying is uh, using distance formula find the distance between the point. The point are four comma negative five and two comma negative one. Mm -hmm. This I want to call this is x one y one. This is x two y two. I'm plugging in the formula. The formula is the square root subtraction subtraction the x two is two minus x1 is 4 mm -hmm. plus uh, y y is y2 is negative 1 minus y1 is uh, 5 positive this is double negative is positive 5 square ok now after that square root of subtraction subtraction is 2 minus 4 is 2, negative 2 squared is, is 4, 2 squared is 4 plus, uh, 5 minus 1 is 4, the square is 16, and uh, this is the square root 20, and when you simplify this is 4 and 5, and the square root 4 is 2, this is 2 outside, and radical 5 stay inside, get the option B. Okay, number three is find the midpoint of the line segment joining the two points. As it is giving this point, this is x1, y1, and this is x2, y2. So x of the midpoint is the average. As the sum is 6 plus 0 divided by 2 is 6 divided by 2 is 3. A three. Now y of the midpoint is seven plus two over two. This is nine over two. Uh -huh. This is the point. The midpoint is three comma nine over two. Okay, corresponding with the option D. Option D. Okay, number four again is midpoint formula. Does the x of the midpoint is equal 4 plus minus 2 over 2? 
this is 4 minus 2 over 2. This is 2 over 2 is 1. And y of the midpoint is summation of the y is minus 4 plus 8 over 2. This is 4 over 2 is 2, therefore the midpoint is the point 1 comma 2. 1 comma 2 is the option C. Okay, number 5 is find the center and radius of the circle. And this is the equation. And you have to manipulate using completely square technique. Okay, then you write, for example, you grouping the same letter x square plus 18x plus a box. In the box, you put a number that completed this square. Oh, this, you convert this trinomial like a perfect square trinomial. Plus, like y with the y, y squared plus 4 y plus another number uh, is equal 36 stay minus 85 and bring to the other side plus this the 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 number that you adding in the left hand side you must adding in the right hand side in order to keep the equilibrium of the equation okay so now for finding this number you take 18, 18 divided by 2 is 9, and 9 squared is 81. This is the number, 81 here, and 81 here. Okay, now likewise, 4 divided by 2, always divided by 2 is 2, and then 2 squared is 4. So the number here is 4, and 4. Okay, ready, You're almost ready. After that, I suppose that this trinomial is perfect square and the factorization is only one binomial, which is x plus 9. Okay, 9 is the square root of this, 81. Square root of 81 is 9. And square root of this is x is here. Plus, 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 plus. This is exactly the same. This is y plus 2 squared. In the right hand side we have okay 81 and 4 is 85 and 85 and 85 cancels out negative 85 the state now this is cancelled state 36 okay ready the center compare this equation to the standard form of the circle equation is something like that okay it's obvious H in our case is negative 9, completely opposite sign because a negative 9 and, and another negative of the formula produce positive here. Okay, now K likewise is a negative 2. Now the conclusion is center located at the point negative 9, comma negative 2. And what about radio? Radio R, little r is a square root 36, square root 36. Uh, six. This is a radio six unit, and this is the auction D. I guess so. Yes. Okay. Again, find the center and radius of the circle. So say you grouping this x square minus sixteen x plus box plus y square. Uh, plus 18y plus box is equal to negative 141 plus box box okay the first number is 16 divided by 2 is 8 a square is 64 64 here 64 and 64 uh, and the second number is 18 divided by 2 is 9 and 9 squared is 81 there's 81 here and 81 here okay now okay I suppose get this trinomial this perfect square trinomial 
is x minus this sign is this sign always and this sign must be positive always square root 64 8 squared plus another perfect square trinomial this is y plus 9 squared this is plus here this sign is this sign in the right hand side we have 64 81 is 5 14 okay and subtraction minus 141 is 4 positive 4 now conclusion the center okay the chalk card is directly you take 8 and 9 but completely opposite sign you see in the equation okay 8 is negative and the point is positive now this is positive and the point is negative this is the center and the radio radius because the radius r is the square root this number is square root 4 this two. Uh -huh. and this answer corresponds with the option b yeah b b i guess so it's b right Okay, number seven is similar, but the only difference is that the coefficient in front, the quadratic term, is no one. So you must divide it by two the entire equation. So say x squared plus y squared divided by two, eight divided by two is four, twelve divided by two is six, and twenty-four divided by two is twelve. Now this is equivalent, and zero divided by two is zero. I stay the same. Now if we grouping x squared plus 4x plus a box plus y squared plus 6y plus another box. In the right hand side we have minus 12. We can bring to the other side plus 2 box. Okay. The number key complete square is obvious because 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 2 is square is 4. This is 4. 4 and 4. And the second number is 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 3 is square is 9. It's 9 here and 9 here. Okay. Now, ready to factorization. I know very well. Okay, this trinomial is perfect square trinomial and the factorization is x plus remember this sign is this sign plus 2 and 2 is a square root 4 square plus likewise this is y plus again plus plus square root 9 is 3 square in the right hand side we have 9 and, um, 9 and 4 is 13 13 minus 12 is 1. Okay, this is the center. Conclusion. Center is the point, remember, opposite sign. Minus 2, comma, minus 3. And radius is the square root 1. Square root 1 is 1. Okay, that is the option. The option D. Alright.